Hello there, it's Adrian here again. And if you've been following the first couple of lessons in this series, then you will have already got yourself familiar with the E chord and also with the A chord. Now comes the difficult bit, which is changing quickly and smoothly from one chord to the other. Now, clearly this is a really important skill that you're gonna to have to get to grips with if you wanna start playing some songs. And it's also something that every single beginner guitar player struggles with a little bit. So I wish there was some secret that I could reveal to you that would make for quick and effortless chord changing, but unfortunately I don't think there is one. So what I can try and do is show you the right way to do it. And if we combine that with some hard practice and patience on your part, then you will definitely get there. So why don't we look a bit more closely at my left hand and I will explain to you how this chord change works. So this is my E chord and this is my A chord and we're going to be practicing changing as quickly and as smoothly as possible between these two chords. So there are three things I'd like you to bear in mind when you're working on this. The first thing is to avoid excessive finger movement when moving from one chord to the other. For instance, if we're going from the E chord to the A chord, you don't want to take all your fingers away from the guitar and then flap them around and then have to find the, the A chord like that. You want to keep all of your fingers as close as possible to the strings and to the fingerboard of the guitar. And fairly obviously that's going to make for a smoother and faster chord change. The second point is to try and look for the smoothest and quickest possible route between the two chords. Um, in some chords that means that one of the fingers might stay the same. Um, that's not the case in these two chords but you can see if you look at going from E to A that the, uh, the second and third fingers remain in the same kind of configuration. They're just moving, you can see the, the second and third fingers here are moving from the second fret on the fourth and fifth string in the E chord to the second fret of the second and third string in the A chord. So it's almost as if they're joined together. And in, in fact, you could imagine those two fingers being tied together and moving as one big finger, just like that. Um, if we look at the first finger, that's moving in the E chord from the first fret on the third string to the second fret on the fourth string in the A chord. So it's kind of moving diagonally across like that. If we put that together, then we should have a, a nice smooth chord change. Um, now my last point is to try and avoid building your chords up one finger at a time, which is something most beginners do where you play an E chord and you have to just put one finger down at a time like that. You change to an A chord and then you'll build that up one finger at a time like that. You want to try and move all of your fingers at the same time and have them all arriving at the new chord at the same time. Obviously that's far, far easier said than done at this stage, but it's something to bear in mind when you're practicing this. So let's have a try changing from our E to our A chord. First thing I'd like you to do is just hold down the E chord, give it a strum, change as quickly and as smoothly as you can to the A chord, then give that a strum, then back to the E, then A, and all the time just keeping an eye on your left hand fingers, making sure they're not flapping around making sure or trying to make sure that you're not building the chords up one finger at a time but that you're moving your fingers all at the same time to the next chord and you're just going to want to do that over and over and over again just getting comfortable with that and building up the strength and the muscle memory in your left hand until it starts to become automatic. Now I'm not saying that's going to be easy, I'm not saying it isn't going to take a while, but that's the process you need to be going through, just getting your fingers into those shapes, getting your fingers used to how it feels to change between those two chords. Now once you're starting to get comfortable with that, we can try injecting a little bit of rhythm to the proceedings. Now the next thing I'd like you to try is this. Again, starting on the E chord, let's play four strums on E. and then four strums on A. And so on. And what you're aiming for here is a 
smooth change between the two chords which doesn't break the rhythm. So what you don't want is a sort of hesitation at the chord change while you find the new chord and then you start going again. Um, you want smooth changes, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And obviously this is far easier for me to say than it is for you to do at this stage, but that's just what you're aiming for, so that there has to be no break in the rhythm. Now once that's feeling comfortable, there are a couple of other things you could try. You could try going down to just two strums on each chord. That would sound like this. You've got two strums on E, then A. And you're counting one, two, three, four. One, two, again, no pause or hesitation between the chord changes. And uh, for a really big challenge, you could go down to one strum on each chord, something like this. Again, it might take you a while before you get to that stage. So I was going to wrap things up by saying have some fun practicing your E to A chord changes, but I realised that just going from that to that endlessly is never going to be a whole bundle of laughs. The thing is, it's a really important stage which you need to get through. It's only by getting good and smooth at our chord changes that we can get on to the real fun and exciting stuff, which is playing songs. And that's only just around the corner. So you need to promise me you'll put some time in, you'll do some practice, and it will really, really be worth it. And I hope to see you for another lesson really soon.